if you visit any family in Palestine, West Bank, and Gaza Strip, at least you will find someone experienced the jail. To go to jail, it's, I don't want to say it's normal, but it's, to be a Palestinian, it's enough. It's enough reason to be in jail. It's part of the daily life in Palestine. Over 700,000 Palestinians experienced the jail since 1967. Proportionately, there are more political prisoners there than existed in South Africa. In South Africa, we had a campaign against child detainees. In Palestine, you have uh, over 350 children who are political prisoners. They would take very many of our children uh, away from parents and uh, try and use that to coerce uh, parents to appear at police stations to report. I remember in 1988, you see prisoners coming like crazy. In a few months, we became 6,000 political prisoners in one jail. And 95% of them, they were administrative detentions. Administrative detention is the detention, usually for six months, but you can extend it, uh, of people based on uh, no uh, kind of legal procedure aside from issuing an administrative order. People are arrested without knowing what they are in for. They've never been charged with anything. The way it's been done by Israel is absolutely in contravention of international law. I remember in the 70s, there were a famous Palestinian political prisoners. He spent like around seven years as administrative detention. And it's scary. It's really scary because you don't know. And they use it part of the torture. Sometimes it's the day after, for example, six months or one year in jail. And you know, this is the last day for you the day you were, uh, uh, you were released, they come to the jail, they call your name, you collect all your stuff, you were released, you say bye-bye to the prisoners, and you move outside, and the officer comes, sorry, another six months, you go back to the jail. Administrative detention, very similar to the detention without trial in South Africa. Uh, when you are about to be released, they will release you, and let you walk a few steps and rearrest you which is, a, by the way, another form of torture because you never actually are sure as to whether you will be allowed, you know, you know totally re released. I was arrested in 1985, and there was nothing illegal about what it was that I was doing. And they knew that they could therefore not take me to court and charge me with anything. They basically detained us because they could do it. Why Mandela became the hero of the issue of the political prisoners? He spent 27 years in, in the apartheid system jail. Right now, we have prisoners, they spent more than 30 years in jail, more than the Mandela. Why the international community is not paying attention for that? 